What's up guys, it's Henry, and just before today's video starts, there's a couple things I want to clear up on the back of Yanomize's video yesterday he posted about the Nissan 300ZX. First of all, I'd just like to say, everything that I do on this channel is completely transparent. I've got full trust between me and the viewers. I've got no interest in being fake. I gain absolutely nothing out of that. So, Secondly, Yanni actually called me yesterday after the video went live and apologized for the way that it had been perceived by the viewers in such a negative light, which sometimes things on YouTube aren't all they seem and YouTube is an entertainment platform and Yanni said to me he was trying to be as transparent as I am with his viewers and yet there were a couple things that I didn't get right and you've got to understand I've never prepared a car for rap before and I didn't really think I was going to have to do it in the same manner I did so I thought Rap My Banger was actually going to be a series where I unbolt and rebolt parts on like I have done with my other rebuilds on the channel and not restore the car back to ready for wrap. So I had no idea that it was going to involve a lot of priming. That's not something I have done before and it's not something my guys do ever on a day-to-day -day basis. So this was a complete learning curve for us and for my employees. And fair play to them, I think I'm happy with what they've done and I, and I was happy to give it back to Yanomize because the standard that I got it to was what I would then paint over. But understanding that what you would paint over and what you can wrap over are two different things which I fully understand now but maybe was a little bit naive to before the series began. So I hold my hands up, maybe it wasn't perfect but look I did all I could and everything I did to that car was for free, I didn't charge a penny and I fiberglassed and repaired so many different cracks and chips around the bumpers and the panels and the skirt. So it may not look like I'd done loads, but believe me when I say the way I returned it to Yanomize was definitely far better than when I dropped it off. The priming was done in my garage at work, which isn't an oven, and we don't prime there. All the priming gets done off-site by somebody else who's a professional, but he was too busy, so we had to make do with what we had around us, the tools we had, and the budget that I gave the guys which was a couple of thousand pounds. So they've done their best with the time they had. And remember, they are they are doing other work at the same time. They usually take parts off cars and sell them for export. So this was a completely different job that they'd had to undertake. In hindsight, maybe I did bite off a little bit more than I can chew. But look, we live and learn. Everything's a learning curve. And I know now in the future that if I was to repair a car for Yanomize and get it ready for him to wrap, I know exactly what he wants it like and I know exactly how he needs it. So. From this experience, I've actually learned a lot about myself and about the type of work that Yanni does and how good it really is. Thirdly, everything you do comment on people's videos does get read and it does affect them. So imagine if you were receiving the same comment that you'd given somebody else without really understanding the full extent of the situation, just type in and not really thinking about it. It does get to people, so next time you do it, just take a moment before you type and think about what you're saying because it's not nice for anybody to read. So that's my little talk over. Let's continue with the video that I had planned for you guys and you can see some of the stuff that I did do to the car while it was in my yard and that I didn't do FA like some of the comments are saying. So enjoy the video guys and I'll be happy to answer any questions you have in the comments below. No, I'm not wearing a polka dot tracksuit. That is the beautiful English weather blessing us with another fine day. I just want to apologise in advance for the extremely loud noise in the background. No, it's not a machine in the yard, it's not one of the big grabs, that is actually the Nissan. I've never had a car on the channel disrupt the audio so much by just having it running idle. So you can imagine what it was like driving that for 45 minutes on the way home. Not very nice, my ears are still bleeding. If you're new here, welcome to the channel, my name's Henry Arnold. If you've come from Yanni, I like supercars, I do cars, and basically just have fun on this channel. And if you're an existing subscriber, welcome back. As you know, I've been doing the Wrap My Banger series with Yanomize where I've been repairing the Nissan 300ZX and getting it back to a position where Yanni can wrap over it. I'll take you around the car right now and show you guys what I've done and what I've fixed. So let's start at the front. If you remember in the original video, this bumper had a complete crack through the middle of it here. So we've done a complete bumper repair, smoothed off all the edges and got all the grooves back in the right lines that they should be. And we've blacked out the grills in here so it makes it easier for Yanni to wrap. We've also realigned the front bumper and put a new fixing in there so that it now sits in a much better position because before it wasn't sitting very right. I've realigned all of the rubbers around the lights as well and done a full, uh, full prime on the bumper and some parts on the bonnet and smoothed it over with a 2000 so that it is ready to be wrapped over. We'll go around the side as you can see, done a full prime on the wing mirrors because they were completely wrong. 
we've done this whole side skirt down the bottom which was probably the most difficult part because this was all bobbly and it's got holes in it where it's been rusty we've had to do a makeshift repair so that Jan can wrap over it and it's been done to the best of our ability and it, I think it's in the best state that it could be for the time we had with it. If we follow around the back you can see the roof and all the other parts have all been primed as well and then this was the most tedious part of the job. Oh look a nice bit of rubbish on there. This bit here if you look come and look over we've done the best we can do but the spoiler is rubber and there is no replacements on eBay or anywhere I couldn't find one and Nissan didn't have any in stock so we've done the best we could we've primed it over and it can be wrapped over pretty well so yeah I'm, I'm buzzing with it and then we've done the rear bumper full prime and the same down the other side as we did on this side but it's looking a lot better and once it's been wrapped you won't recognize it from the start to the finish I'm gonna flick back now so you guys can see a little bit of the work that we've done to it and how we did it This was actually the first time that we managed to get the car on the ramps and as soon as we got it on there, the car wanted to fold in half. The front was rusty, the whole floor was rusty and you could literally put your hand up through the carpet and feel it from the inside, which is never a good sign. The first thing we decided to do was repair the big crack in the front bumper and as it's a fiberglass bumper, the only way we could do this was by securing a metal plate behind it, riveting into it, securing the gap and then fiberglassing over the top. There was various other points on the car where we had to use fiberglass to fill the cracks, but this was the main one that I decided to get on camera so you guys could see the intricacy of how it's actually done. A repair like this would cost you upwards of £300 to get done in a garage and there was multiple on this car so it was a very difficult thing to do and we took our time with it and made sure we got it done perfectly. Here is Stuart sanding down some of the bumper as all of the car had flaky paint on it and we tried our best to find absolutely every bit of flaky paint we could throughout the car. We actually reattached the front bumper using our own fixings and made sure that it fitted absolutely perfectly and much better than it did prior to when we took it off and as you can see here the front bumper gaps are looking a lot better. Around the rear of the car, which was probably one of the worst rear ends of a car I've ever worked on, the whole bottom half was fiberglass and it was bobbly, so when you sanded it down, you had to be very careful not to go through to the other side and actually damage the car itself, and the spoiler was almost impossible to use, and we were worried about taking it off as it was something we'd never done before. So we decided to leave it on and polish around the edges and do as much as we could. Here's Stuart priming the back end using the prime gun that we've got in store, and unfortunately we've got to take the tape off the bottom here, but... That's not the end of the world, that's an easy job. And here is the front wing primed. So that's how we do it. I and mean, if you are new, this is an example of the cars we get on the channel. A BMW i8 wrapped satin purple with all over damage. And you know what my favorite bit of the i8, sir? Doors that go up. So if you want to see me rebuild that, hit the subscribe button. And there's plenty more on the channel. We don't just do supercars, we do a lot of stuff. But anyway, I'm gonna get in the whip now. We're gonna head down to Yanomai's. Come with me, let's go for a drive. So we're en route to Yanomai, we've got about 45 minutes left. And driving this is so different to any other car. There's no indicators on this side, the indicators are on this side, all of your controls are in little paddles up here, so every time I go to flick my lights or something, it doesn't come on. I'm trying to find the wind wipe, windscreen wipers, there's nothing in the centre console. It's really backwards, so it's making it really difficult for me to just function, like try and drive it as a normal car. I can imagine it'd be a lot of fun when you're trying to drift. I bet this drifts like, drifts like a G, so. Before I listen to that. It's got two dump valves on it. Fuck, no. Just going around the, I'm just going around the corners ever so slowly so I don't flick the back end out, but I'll catch up with you guys in a bit because I need to keep my eyes on the road. It's very wet and slippery. Just had an absolute nightmare in a petrol station. Obviously I haven't had to put any petrol in it yet, so I've, I've just left my yard to come here and I've seen the gauge is empty, so right, I thought right, I'll stop in the petrol station quickly, grab some fuel in there so it's got enough to get down here. Got to the petrol station and it's like this single lane uh, petrol station pay and pump one in Asda. There's a queue behind me waiting to get petrol. I've been sat there for 20 minutes and I couldn't open the petrol cap. So I called up Bert and he called the owner and he said it gets stuck sometimes. So uh, to ask for someone's help, I got on the petrol cap and I pulled it with my fingers down the sides while they pushed the lever down here. What a terrible design from Nissan. Why not just make it a push one? Or was that before the time? I'm not too sure. I'll be so glad to hand this back over because it's been a bit stressful over the last couple of weeks. But we've done our bit at Ace. We've got it ready to be wrapped. So once it's wrapped, I'll be looking forward to see what it looks like. We'll give it back to the owner and he can have as much fun in it as he likes. Hope he has more fun than I did with it. <laughs> Yeah, 
Thomas. Come on. You know what? I'm not sad to see this car go, so let's get Yanni down here quick time so I can get away from this car. Where is he? Oh dear. I got a little bit excited down at Yanomai's and actually forgot to ask my cameraman, who is my girlfriend, to get the camera out and actually record. So, yep, I'm a proper Dinlo. My one opportunity at Yanomai's to get him on the channel and I forgot. Hopefully there's more opportunities in the summer and it was an absolute pleasure to work with Yanni on this project. So big shout out to Yanni because I don't actually say it anywhere else in the video. Thanks for getting me on board. I've loved it. And if we can do something again and if I can help you out, just know I'm the man for the job. Let's get it. So the ZX300 is out of my hands now. Going into the workshop to see what Yang can do. He said he's super busy and he doesn't know when he's going to get it done, but hopefully he gets it done soon and it looks really nice for the owner. But it was a stressful job working on it. I spent over 1,500 to 2,000 pound repairing it and you would never notice it looking at it. But yeah, I'm Henry Arnold, guys. Until next time.